did you feel when you booked a role on Dragon Ball after you had been a fan? Okay. Which one do uh, you want to talk about? Let's talk about Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super. Or Dragon Ball in general. So I was a big Dragon Ball fan growing up. And, Were uh, you? Yeah. Oh, even before you became oh, yeah. a voice actor. Yeah. Oh, no, that's Chris, so cool. they, they all make fun of me for it. Uh -huh. um, that's awesome. <laughs> do they make fun of you? They do. They've been the kid of the cast for, for a long time. Aww. And now it's like five years in. And now we're starting to get, we got like clip tape and now they're younger people who also watched it that are in the cast. It's it's lightened the uh, my load on that. Uh, but no, yeah, they picked on me for a long time. Be like, oh, Ian, Ian, Ian loved Dragon Ball. And I did, because it's awesome. How did you feel when you booked a role on Dragon Ball after you had been a fan? Well, okay, so um, the process actually went, there was, uh, it was Xenoverse 2. Uh -huh. I got cast in that, and Jason Douglas and I were cast as Beerus and Weiss in that. And the company that cast that is different from the company that cast the show. So we, I, I thought I was just going to be in the games. Uh, we didn't know anything about it. We just knew that something about pudding and, you know, kind of loose sketches on who our characters were. And then we got called back in to do Battle of Gods. And at that point I said, oh my gosh, I get to be in one of the movies. Dream come true. I get to talk to Goku and Vegeta. This is amazing. I called my brother. He said, that's awesome. Do you get to fight Goku or Vegeta? I'm like, no. But I'm stronger than them, and that's awesome. So that's yeah. He's like, oh cool. Well, call me when you fight them. 